what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more the walking dead season eight so today as i'm recording i'll be recording the, the final three episodes of season eight but we will start season nine next week okay so there will be no episode on thursday of next week so just keep that in mind okay there's only three more episodes left and i'm not going to start season nine on thursday okay so just keep that in mind i'm saying that off rip now there's only three episodes left in season eight we go i'm going to be watching it you are not going to see the finale until wednesday i'll be watching all three episodes today so we know what's going on man just had a big battle um and they survived they actually got out of it ran simon out of out of the hilltop um <clears throat> but don't know I, I to be honest i don't really care <laughs> I don't really care about Henry. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I don't really care about him. The reason why he's like an insert that doesn't even really matter. I get it. You want revenge for your brother, but don't do stupid things. They could have made the character smarter, but they kind of using Henry as a plot device that I don't like. I don't like when people, when kids are used like this in shows, it's just like, okay, we know kids are dumb. You get what I'm saying? We know kids are dumb. Carl did some stupid things when he was younger in the show. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't being used as a plot device. Henry is clearly being used as a plot device in the show. You get what I'm saying? Um, so if I should have any qualms with, you know, the past couple of episodes, that would be it. Okay, so... Um, a lot of people has leave their comments about, you know, what is happening with Tara and stuff like that. Cause I was actually worried about her, but then, you know, I talked about it in the review where I was like, I don't know. We're going to have to see how that plays out because if Dwight is the one that shot her, I don't think anybody should be worried. I don't think, I still don't think Dwight has turned. I don't think he's turned. I think he has to play along. I think in terms of what he did, I think more than likely you know, somebody was also saying this in the comment section where they were saying that they think that Dwight saved um, Tara. OK, so that's what I was thinking, too, because by him shooting her, you get what I'm saying? By him shooting her, then, you know, it stopped Simon and Simon in his tracks to actually go ahead and, you know, take her out because that's what he was about to do. And Dwight kind of interrupted that and then kind of dragged him away so i'm looking forward to see how this is gonna go of course negan has escaped again he has been picked up by jadis um so we don't know what's going on on that hand so maybe they're going to show that in 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 this episode 14 i don't know because that whole episode went by episode 13 went by we didn't see negan in that episode at all it was all about the attack it's all about certain things. A lot of people agreed with me about the um the reaction to the deaths. The reaction to Carl's death was trash. Okay? It was absolute trash. I don't know who was directing that episode or what that table read was like. Because that table read, I would have got up. You're trying to tell me that a, a, a kid... That all of these people has come to know and love. Enid barely knows Carl. And she broke down. I get it. They were supposedly in love with each other. I get it. Maggie should have a, had a bigger reaction. Because that's the kid. The first time you met Carl. He had a freaking hole in him. Okay. He got shot. That's how you met Carl. Carol should have had a bigger reaction because she's known Carl since season one. They've been together since season one, right? Their OG is an OG character. I expected bigger reactions out of these people and we did not get it. But that's not to say that I'm not enjoying the season at all, but it does have its issues, you know, I'm not going as far as to say this this season is like a 2 out of 10 or no, no shit like that. Like, I still think it's a 7 out of 10 season. It's not the greatest, but I'm still enjoying it um, based on Rick 
and Negan at this point. Like I love that scene. It was it it was a way better. Um, it it was just a way better way of going about them fighting. Even though Rick still missed him <laughs> a lot, you know what I'm saying. But he did get some good hits in. He hit him with the bat with fire. You know what I'm saying. Uh, um, so that was pretty. It was just pretty cool to see. You know what I'm saying. I know they're saving Negan for something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's gonna turn good or whatever. Some people are even going as far to say that Rick is kind of a psychopath too. But the thing about Rick is like he he will go off, and there's reasons why he goes off. Negan has just always been Negan. You get what I'm saying? He wasn't the greatest introduction to his character for me to say, okay, he's not a psychopath. You get what I'm saying? We met the dude doing crazy stuff to other living people. He wasn't doing this to the dead. I get it. He does this to keep people in order. And then he has this, have all these rules that he lives by, you know, human are a resource and all this good stuff that you can add to his character to say, okay, He's got some sort of feeling to him. If he's not psychopathic, he's narcissistic. You can look at it from any angle and you will see aspects of these disorders inside of Negan. Okay? Maybe he's not a straight up psychopath. You get what I'm saying? But he exhibits behaviors like that. Yes, he felt for Carl. He did. And I understand all of that. But... But you also got to understand that psychopaths, psychopath, they can empathize also. That is not beyond them. That is not beyond a person who is doing psychopathic things. Okay. I need you guys to understand that. Right. They're not beyond being empathetic. Okay. They can empathize with people. You understand what I'm saying? But they still can be psychopath okay so narcissistic people on the other hand you know what i'm saying or um sociopaths are the ones that they don't really they're not empathetic right sociopaths are not em um empathetic okay so um so yeah i don't know yeah i think i said everything right if you find any details uh and saying i'm not right you can always put it in the comment section you learn something new every day because from what i know about those three th three diagnoses being a psychopath being a you know being empathetic and being you know what i'm saying uh a sociopath differs from a psychopath i know sociopaths they can't be empathetic to anything they don't really understand certain things or how they don't understand feelings very well, so they can disassociate this that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, let's get to the reaction. See you guys for the review. All right, so that was season eight, episode fourteen. Wow, wow, good episode. Great episode, structure-wise. <laughs> structure-wise, the episode was done well. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was a very chill episode, to say the least. Dialogue was very good. Um, the acting was very good. Um, the helicopter showed up again. Don't know what that represents. It's obviously, they, it seems like they're looking for people to save. But it doesn't. it kind of doesn't make sense. As in, why do they go to the dump to look for people? That doesn't necessarily make sense. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, why would you go to a dump to go look for people? You wouldn't exactly be looking. People wouldn't exactly be in a dump to begin with. So why were they there? And why does Jadis know they come around? Unless they fly over there all the damn time and they hide. They just don't want to be found. But now she wants to be found. Maybe that's the case. Um, Negan is free again. So Simon is in trouble. I don't know if he's going to kill Simon. But that nigga definitely deserves to die at this point. 
I don't like I don't really like his I don't like him. I don't like his character. He's very ugh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I guess it would save Dwight again. Yeah, you know I'm saying I don't know how Dwight is gonna play this because he actually going along with Simon, so Simon might rat him out if Negan calls him out. Who the hell knows? I'm glad that Rick gets a chance to sit down and read the letter from Carl. He needs time to to grieve. Um don't care too much about Henry, but I am glad that he's not dead. <laughs> Let me just say that. I'm glad he's not dead, but I don't care too much about the character itself. You get what I'm saying? So, all in all, what I'm trying to say is this. Carol, practically, and that's what I'm saying, it's the biggest issue that I have with the whole thing. Is that Carol have more emotions over Henry than Carl, or they they just decided not to show Carol at all, knowing that Carol lost her own daughter during the show, right? Her own daughter, and a little boy that was there that she kind of helped raise in some ways too, because she always was looking out for Carl and stuff. Um, and then introduce new characters. I get it. But she had more of a reaction to Henry. Because maybe Henry is around Sophia's age. I don't. Maybe. They they look around the same age. We'll see how that. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just guessing. But it was great, man. It was a good episode. I'm not saying that just for saying that. It was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Um, for what it was and what they were trying to show. I still don't know who the hell Negan picked up. Like. Why is that being hidden? You get what I'm saying? Like, who escaped? It's probably somebody that left the hilltop injured that he picked up. Um, because we know they killed everybody. They killed all, all the saviors that escaped from the cage, right? So, unless there was one left that we don't know about. I don't know who he picked up. It could have been Jadis too. Uh, who the hell knows? But Jadis, he, Jadis wouldn't be in bad shape. Plus, she was still at the garbage dump. So, I don't know who to guess it, it is at this point. Um, but at least Tara is off her bullshit. I'm glad they cleared that up at the beginning of the episode. And they didn't, like, drag it on. I'm glad that they cleared that up. Early in the episode. To let us know she's okay. Alright. Um, other than that, I think I've addressed every point. Daryl and... Freaking Rosita is out here trying to do, trying to take out the, 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 um, the bullet maker, which is Eugene. So I don't know how they're going to go about doing that, but we'll get to see that another day. I appreciate you guys for always tuning in and loving these videos. Make sure you don't, don't forget to leave a like on these videos, man. Please do. So people can remind it because notifications are still awry right now. They're, you know what I'm saying? Some people get notifications, some don't. Even me sometimes on my other account, which is subscribed to the reaction account, don't get the notifications sometimes. I'm always looking because I'm always logged into that account, not the um, the channel's account. Because, you know, all this other stuff that, you know, that was my first YouTube account. That's why I, have, I still have it. Um, I use that mostly, right? And plus... The thing about it, the reason why I don't necessarily watch anything on the Terabyte Reacts channel, the reason why I don't watch YouTube on it is because I don't want a bunch of stuff to, to pop up and I get spoiled about anything, um, even though it still happens because I'm uploading stuff about the show, they'll give me recommended stuff for other people's channel and stuff on the channel. I just don't watch them, right? So... Um, shows that I don't watch and stuff like that, it doesn't necessarily pop up or get recommended on the other channel. So, um, I feel safer on the other channel. Plus, it's, as I said, it's subscribe to the Terabyte channel. So, anytime I put out a video, I should see the notification on my phone because I have hit the notification bell for my own channel, okay? Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so, um, so yeah talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.